A 78-year-old woman presents to the emergency department in mid-December with one week history of shortness of breath and dry cough. She denies a fever but reports chills. She denies chest pain or sick contacts. She is up to date on her vaccination, including the influenza and pneumococcal vaccines. She has diabetes mellitus and hypertension. Her medications, which she takes regularly, include insulin, lisinopril, vitoprolol, and hydrochlorothiazide and aspirin. On examination, she has basal rails with no wheezing. Heart examination reveals regular heart sounds with no gallops. She has one plus lower limb edema and blood WBCs are 12,000 microliter with no bands. Her kidney function test and liver enzymes are within normal levels. Chest x-ray shows the basal opacities, basal opacities bilaterally. Which are the following sports, uh, which are the following sports diagnosis of the pneumonia? High B natriuretic peptide level, high pro calcitonin level, high D dimer level, high troponin level, low C reactive protein. The correct answer is B. That is high pro calcitonin level. This patient is at risk for multiple illnesses that can account for her presentation. She is at risk for pneumonia. At the risk of pneumonia, given her age and comorbidity, she is also at the risk for heart failure and coronary artery disease. Furthermore, AC inhibitors frequently cause a dry cough because she is taking the lisinopril. And then respiratory complaints are a common cause for emergency room visits. Multiple biomarkers have been studied as tools to differentiate among the different etiology of shortness of breath. B-natriuretic 